What about right at home? That whole idea has come a long way since the pandemic began more than a year and a half ago now. Yeah, there are quite a few good options that we have at this point, but that's also leading to plenty of questions about at home testing. Last night, our Leanne Stuck did a great report. We hope you saw it. She brought an or bought rather an at home test, then sat down with infectious disease expert Dr. Thomas Russo to discuss it. Since that story aired, we've heard lots of feedback and a few good questions from our viewers. And Leanne is joining us live now. And Leanne, to begin with, we want to talk about accessibility because viewers have asked us a lot of questions about where to get these tests and what they should know about which ones might be better than others. Yeah, Kate and Michael, thank you for having me. There is a lot of interest in these testing kits right now. As you can imagine, you can find them at most convenience stores, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. When I went to pick up our tests for the segment that aired yesterday, there was plenty of stock on the shelves, but we have heard from people about difficulty in finding them in the past. And there were two different options with different price points. There was one known as Bionex Now, which was $24. That was what Dr. Russo recommended that we use. But there was also a different brand on shelves that was only $14. So not only were there many in stock, there were options of different price points. Kate and Michael. Yeah, Leanne, and when people ask about cost, obviously it is going to vary between those two tests and then there are some other options out there as well. But what about insurance and then also this idea of the government paying for this type of testing because they really want to encourage it? Yeah, this has been a big topic, especially this week, Michael. President Joe Biden announced a plan yesterday that would make at home testing free and more accessible nationwide. He said that health insurers also must cover the cost of an at home COVID test. And for those without private insurance, free tests will also be available at community locations for people to pick up. However, that's not yet available in Erie County. Erie County legislatures presented a resolution to urge County Executive Mark Polencars to purchase additional COVID-19 tests and establish a minimum of 15 distribution centers countywide where each family could pick up one free kit in the first 30 days. But that is only a resolution that has not been voted on yet. Glad we were able to get some of these questions answered. Leanne, thank you.